So welcome everybody to Wiggle Wednesdays. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Jenny Cable and I'm an 4-H ex extension educator in Ramsey County. And I have a few of my colleagues on the phone. They're gonna help me out today. Um, and thank you so much for being here. We're gonna spend the next 15 minutes learning together, having some fun together and wiggling together. So, as hopefully most of you know, we have a 4-H clover and there's four H's on the clover. So we talk about our head. Can everybody point to their head? We talk about our heart. Everybody put your hand over your heart. We talk about our hands. Look at your hands for me, awesome. And then we talk about our health. So that's kind of our whole body health, right? So let's wiggle out our whole body. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, so today we are gonna focus on the head. So the H as in head on the 4-H clover. So can everybody point to your head? Awesome, yeah. So we're gonna talk about the head, but we're also gonna talk about our brain. So I'm not sure, welcome. I know some more folks are joining. We just got started. Thanks for joining us. We are talking about our head today and our brain. And if any of you tuned in a couple weeks ago, my colleague Bree Fisher talked about our hands. So we're gonna do a couple exercises that are both exercising our hands, but they're also exercising our brains. We might not even realize it, but we're gonna be thinking really critically. So how many of you use one hand more often than the other during the day? You can just raise your hand. Yeah? Maybe you've heard the term, I'm right-handed or I'm left-handed. So maybe you, I'm right-handed for example, and I use my right hand to brush my teeth. Can everybody brush their teeth? Brush your teeth. I use my right hand to draw. Can we pretend like we're drawing? Yeah, lots of good drawing. And I use my right hand to eat my breakfast. So let's practice like we're taking cereal and we're taking our spoon to our mouth. Yeah, nice. So we are gonna start out this next- I have a question. Yes, what's your question? Um, so a body connect to a brain to know how to um uh remind something? Yes, okay, I, th I think I'm understanding what you're saying. You're saying that your body is connected to your brain and your brain helps you move your body parts, right? You are, that is incredible, that's so smart, exactly. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So I want everybody to hold up their hand they use the most often during the day. So for me, that's my right hand. So if you're right-handed, raise your right hand. If you're left-handed, raise your left hand. And we're gonna start by drawing some big circles together. So everybody draw circles in the air with me. Make them as big as you can. We're going around the clock, drawing circles. Great. Now let's try to go the other way. So we go counterclockwise. So draw your circle the other direction. Great job. Now that probably felt pretty comfortable, right? Now we're gonna take our other hand and arm and we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna take my left hand and arm and I'm gonna start drawing circles. So can everybody draw circles with their other arm? Yep. And now let's reverse it, go the opposite direction. Good job. So, and you can unmute for this. Tell me, did that feel a little bit more awkward using your other arm and hand? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah for I me too. Question. Yes, what is that, August? I have, so, I have a question. Dribble it before, and that's what you use. 
Yes. Most of the day, but it's like more harder to live in it. I have a question. Okay, we're gonna do you mind? We're gonna keep moving on to the next activity. Maybe we'll have a little time at the end for questions, okay? So we just did one activity using both of our arms, and one side was a little easier than the other. Let's try another one. We are gonna together, you just follow along with me. We're gonna write out the numbers one through five in the air. So everybody raise up your arm that you use most often. So that for me again, that's my right arm in hand. And we're gonna start writing out our numbers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that felt pretty good. I could do that, that wasn't too hard. Now let's try our other I can do arm. it. You can do it. We're just gonna try it all together. So I'm gonna try with my left. Everybody follow me, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Woo! That felt a little goofy, I'm not gonna lie. That wasn't quite as easy as using my right hand. And while we were doing those activities, I'm not sure if you realized it, but your brains were working really hard because you were having to think through not only how to write your numbers in the air, but how to use your hand and your arm that you don't use a lot during the day. So that's some deep exercising not. for your brain. And now we are gonna jump into some high energy activities now, because I can see you're kind of wiggling. I'm ready to wiggle. Let's get our bodies moving. And these movements are also gonna exercise not only our bodies, but our brains as well. This is all about our head and our brain and making sure we're thinking critically. So this song is called Listen to the Music. It's by the Doobie Brothers. And it's just gonna be playing in the background, but I want you to follow along with me and copy my movements, okay? So if everybody can stand up, we're gonna start and we're gonna start marching in place. Can everybody start marching in place? All right, I only see a couple people marching. Let's get up and march. March, march, march. If you can, kind of move your arms back and forth. Good work. Okay, now we are gonna touch our feet in front of us. So we're gonna put our hand to our foot like this. Opposite hand to opposite foot. Okay. And if you can, try to bounce. Try to bounce up and down, okay? Are you touching your feet? This is really firing up our brains, even if we don't realize it. Good work, keep moving, keep moving. Okay, now we're gonna touch our feet behind our bodies, okay? So if you can, if you can see me from the side, I'm touching my feet behind me. Opposite arm to opposite foot. So everybody, let's see you moving. Feet behind you. We're touching our arms to our feet. Good work. Arms to our feet, arms to our feet. Okay, let's bring our feet back in front of us. Ready? Touch your feet. Okay, I see some moving, I see some moving. My heart rate's going up. Woo! Now we're gonna do elbows to our knees, okay? So bring your elbow up to your knee like this, across your body. Elbow to knee. And as we're doing this, not only are we moving our body, and getting our energy out, but our brain is working so hard right now. Okay, now 
we're going to tap our feet in front of us. So tap your foot down on the ground right in front of you. Left to right. Put your hands on your hips. Tap your feet in front of you. Nice. Good job. Woo. We're getting moving. Okay, now I want you to hold your arms out and we're going to touch our hand to our foot. We're going to do toe touches, but we're going to go across our body. So arms out and down, out and down. Good work. My heart rate is sure up. My brain is fired up. We are working really hard. All right. Now I want everybody to kind of shake it out and we're gonna cool down our bodies just a little bit. So I want you to roll your shoulders. Can everybody roll their shoulders with me? Great. Roll our shoulders back. Now let's roll them forward. Everybody roll your shoulders forward. Okay. Now the final thing we're gonna do, and hopefully you can follow along, this is called a sun salutation. That's a really big word, but it's called a sun salutation. And it's basically what yoga teachers use to cool down um, bodies. So to cool down our bodies and just relax because we got our heart rates up. So we want to bring our energy down, bring our heart rate down. So you, for this next activity, you just follow along as best you can with me. And we are going to do a sun salutation. So, all right, if everybody can stand up and follow along, we're going to say, rise up sun for all to see. So raise your arms up over your head and shine your rays all over me. Bend in half. Rise up sun for all to see and shine your rays all over me. I breathe in deep. Now we're gonna try to get our backs flat and our arms out. I breathe in deep to feel my strength. I stretch my spine to feel its length. And then we're gonna raise up, pause to feel my breath flow in, getting ready to begin. And now we're gonna bend down, touch our toes. One more time, come up, rise and shine now, little ones. I want everybody to show their smile. Show your smile and we say, hello, sun. Because we're saying good morning to the sun. All right, great work.